hello welcome to the channel I just wanted to take a moment to um, say that I think that we all need to take a moment to thank Father God for fighting our battles for us and um, bringing down our enemies um, because he loves us and of course first and foremost for his name's sake because God is not a man that he should lie and one thing as you know his creations that we need to understand is that um well first of all father is not going to have anything out here make him look bad or make him look like a liar he he has no problem bringing down a lie uh bringing down liars deceivers uh, people that desire to mislead other people you know and i don't know i was just uh thinking about how you know i know even in my own area of the battlefield, you know, there's been a lot of um, trashy people out there who um, have actually uh, tried to mislead other people. And, uh, you know, they have spoken falsely against my character. And uh, these people don't even know me. And that's the thing about it. You know, a lot of the people that, um, that speak against you, they don't even know you. They're not even people that you are in association with nor will ever be you know but people just look at people and they grow jealous and they grow resentful and so they just automatically want that person to look bad but you know they also there also could be uh, specific people that they want that person to look bad in the eyes of and you know we all know that God is a God of truth and father isn't going to allow people to uh, defame the character of his children and get away with it or anyone and get away with it you know not just his children but even people that are not his children you know no lie can live around you when father god has your back he doesn't allow any lies to live around him you know he tears them down with the sword of his mouth which is the power of his word his spoken word don't you know that you know we serve a god that spoke light into existence and God said let there be light and there was light well father he can do the same thing over our lives father can say let there be justice and there was justice let there be victory and there was victory um, let my child win and we win you know so the only thing that father God has to do is speak a word let there be restoration, and there is restoration. Let there be separation, and there will be separation. Let there be a union, and there will be a union. You know, let there be reconciliation, and there will be reconciliation. The only thing that Father God has to do is speak the word. Let there be prosperity, and there will be prosperity. You know, let there be clarity, and there will be clarity. You must understand the type of God that has our backs out here on this battlefield. The only thing that he has to do is speak a word. He just wants you all to know that. Okay, so don't doubt Father God. You know, and when you have people out here that are trying to um, disrupt the will of God for your lives, um, trying to um, direct your feet another uh, way, another direction, other than what God has ordained for you, you know, you don't have to worry about um, anything that the wicked is doing. You don't have to worry about anything they're plotting, planning, scheming. Don't worry about those things. Because once Father has said, let there be victory in your lives, there is victory. And there's nothing that uh, the menus of Satan can do to halt the hand of the almighty God in anybody's life. You know, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, you know, I don't know. I just felt like um, coming to you all with a word. You know, anytime I feel something in my spirit, I have to send it out, you know. Um, I can't make things up. I can't, you know, try to put things together myself. I have to just speak things as they are shown in me or as I feel led to speak. Um, 
you know, we've all had people to um, plot and plan against us in our lives and um, or try to mislead other people about what our true characters are, try to defame our reputations, our names, all because we were not who they wanted us to be. You know, because one thing you must understand about a group of jealous people, when they speak lies and deceptions over your name and your lives and your reputations, they're saying things that they want you to be, but they know you are not. But they are saying it to people that they want to see you a certain way. And that would be in a negative way. And Father God, you know, he sees all and he knows all. And he's not going to allow it. That's the reason why you don't have to fight your own battles. Is because anytime there is an injustice that is spoken or done against any of you. That Father has his hand on. It will not prosper. There is a reason why Father said no weapon formed shall prosper well because it won't it can't but your enemies are so dumb and stupid and your haters are so ignorant and blind that they don't know nor understand that that as they scurry around on this planet doing their dirt and thinking they're doing things in silence and in the darkness and in the shadows that the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the good and the evil. That's what they don't understand. That no matter how dark the night is, Father God sees you. No matter how um, much people may walk into a closet and close the door, the eyes of Father God can see in that closet. His eyes are everywhere. He can see everything at once. So he doesn't have to well, let me look over here and see what's going on. And let me look over there and see what's going on. Father knows at all times what is going on. He has, um, I don't know what you would call it. All I know is his vision is, uh, he can just see everything at once. He's everywhere at once. He can see everything at once. He can hear everything at once. He can do everything at once if he wants to. And he doesn't have, I don't believe he has to, um, oh, I put it this way. Have you, for those of you that are believers, have you ever perceived an entire fault or word from the Lord instantly? Meaning, you know how when you open a book and you have to actually read it word for word to gain a full understanding of the sentence? Have you ever had Father speak to you and you understood the message instantly in its entirety? without having to go, without having to um, join all the words together in order for you to comprehend the meaning. Meaning you had instant comprehension. Like if father said, go to the store, I'm just using this as an example. He would not have to say, go to the store. The thought go to the store is comprehended in its entirety at once you know I don't know how to I don't know how to break it down but you don't have to like break it down into compartments and get to the end of the sentence to understand it you understand it in its entirety the moment it is projected into your minds or into your spirit so you know father is an instant God instant comprehension without having to put a bunch of words together to form a sentence and then you comprehend the sentence so I think there may be some of you out there who understand what I'm saying, if you're spiritual minded. And if you've ever had Father uh, speak to you that way. But um, anyway, um, with God, a lot of times, he doesn't have to go through a process to get things done. He can choose to go through a process or put you through a process to have things uh, established in your lives. But he doesn't have to do it that way. But he, he, he didn't have to do it polite. He didn't have to say, oh, well, let me get up off of this throne and let me go see what I can put together to get the sun up in the sky. And No, he said, let there be light, and there was light. So over your lives tonight, those of us who believe, let there be victory, and there is victory. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And 
they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Okay? So, um, what your enemies fail to realize is that um, their own cursed words against you has already returned back to themselves. People need to repent and turn from their evil ways because, you know, a lot of folks, I'm telling you, they just have absolutely no fear of the Lord. And they obviously have no knowledge of the scripture. Uh, Touch not mine anointed and do my prophet no harm. I'm, you know, I just do my prophets no harm. I believe it says. Some people just have no fear of the Lord. You know, the fool hath said in his heart that there is no God. You know? I just don't understand some people. You know, I don't understand people who feel as if they can halt the hand of God. You know, and people are so eaten up with jealousy. See, that's, you know, and even when it pertains to relationships, that's the reason why, as believers, you don't need to be yoked together with unbelievers. Because let's just say that um, you all are forming a friendship or an involvement with someone or for some of you relationships you need to be with somebody that has the ability to exercise discernment and have the ability to exercise it with everybody that they come in contact with whether it be friends family um, co-workers associates acquaintances strangers whatever the situation You all don't need to be involved with someone who does not possess the spirit of discernment. Because how can someone like that ever have your backs? They can't. The enemy can come up against you and that person won't see it. The enemy can come up against that person and they won't see it. I don't believe you need somebody that can't see into the realm of the spirit how can somebody like that possibly see what the devil is doing when they don't use their spiritual eyes in order to know and find out what he's doing a person like that can't have your backs and if they pray for you it can only go but so far meaning you know they can't they just don't have the spiritual discernment and the spiritual gifts to be what you may need them to be. See, that's the reason why you can't, as a child of God, you can't be involved with people that um, are not saved. First of all, you can't walk with God and they're walking with Satan and be in agreement. Why would you want to walk with somebody that's walking with God's enemy? Why would you want to join yourselves to somebody that um, has the a heart that could quite possibly turn against you and that really is against you they're just fond of you at the time but give them some time and they will show you exactly who they are when they are not saved just give it some time you'll see and why walk with somebody who you know they just don't have a knowledge of the spirit realm they don't have a knowledge of demons and devils and things of that nature so if you're under spiritual attack, they don't know what to do. So now they've got to get on the phone and call Reverend so-and-so and Bishop so-and-so and preach a pastor deacon this and that because they don't have the ability to deal with what you are dealing with and get that thing off of you. Pray that thing off of you. Anoint that thing off of you. Praise that thing off of you. Sing that thing off of you. Stay up with you all night if need be until you are set free from that entity or whatever has you under demonic attack. See, that's the type of person that you need in your lives. Not somebody who is like, oh, Lord, I don't know what's going on with you. Let me go call pastor. When they ought to know what to do themselves, they ought to have the power within themselves to know what to do. For those of you that are married or in relationships, if they're 
if they have trifling family members that are trying to cause problems in your unions or unions that you're thinking about forming with people. You don't need to be with people that can't even discern the devil in their own people, the jealousy in their own people. A man of God would be able to spot that. So that's why you cannot be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. A woman of God, my brothers, would be able to spot that. And they would be able to call those people out and say, I don't care if we are blood related. Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You're not going to touch what God has for me. You need to go try to play somebody else because you're not going to play this here. None of you. See, that's the type of person, sisters and brothers, that you need to be with. You don't need somebody who don't know how to do spiritual battle with you and for you against the devil. You don't need somebody that's um, out here um, having sex with the devil and you all are fighting the devil. Out here uh, romancing the devil and you all are battling the devil. Out here whoring around with the devil and you all are rebuking the devil in the name of Jesus. You don't need somebody that when they're not around you, they're holding hands with Satan the very demon that you battle on a daily basis. Are you all beginning to understand why you cannot be unequally yoked together with unbelievers? You don't need somebody that's sitting up under a pack of devils that are trash talking you falsely and lying on your name, trying to turn the person against you. How in the world can somebody walk with a group of people that are that dirty, filthy, and disgusting? but at the same time, hold hands with you as you hold hands with God Almighty. That's not going to work. It's an unequal yoke. You know, with Father, there is no middle ground. You're either for God or against God. With Jesus Christ, you're either hot or cold. If you're lukewarm, he will spew you out of his mouth. So even Jesus don't deal with two-faced people and neither should you all. And with that said, God bless you all until next time.